Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to look at upgrading the CPU on the Alpha Server 1000. The Alpha Server 1000 has a base board in it and the CPUs are on daughter boards so it is easy to change the CPUs out. A lot of the Alphas you can change CPUs within the same rev level but on the 1000 they allow you to change from a EV4 to an EV5 style card. This is the original CPU from the machine which is an Alpha 4 slash 233. It's an EV45, it's the revision. And this one is an EV56 card, it's the 5 slash 400. So this one's 400 megahertz and this one's 233 megahertz. Because of the changes in the generations from 4.5 to 5.6, um, this 400 one is going to be more than twice as fast as this one. Um, the, this one is a, a dual issue processor, you can do two instructions per clock. This one's a quad issue, so you can do four instructions per clock. It's not necessarily twice as fast, but it can go, it can do a lot more per clock cycle. So this 400 is going to be more than twice as fast as this 233. In order to change from one generation card to another, you need to change the firmware on the baseboard. This is done with the firmware CD. There's a special command just for the Alpha Server 1000 that will upgrade you between generations of, of cards. You can also do it with a uh, fail-safe diskette but I haven't got one of those and I'm just going to use the CD version which is a lot simpler to do. So what you do is you keep, you keep the old card in, you run the firmware update, then you power off and put the new card in and then it should go. Anyway, we'll flip over to the console now and do the upgrade. Okay, we're on the console now, running on the old processor. So if we do a show config, You can see that it's the 4 slash 233, 21064A, 233 megahertz. So what you do is you boot the firmware CD. This restarts and then copies some files. Okay, now we're at the update prompt. Normally you would just use this to display your firmware, type update to update the firmware, stuff like that. But on the Alpha Server 1000, because you can replace the cards in it, there is a command called CPU Upgrade. And if you do that, it says executing the script will upgrade your Model 4 XXX console into Model 5 XXX console, which is exactly what we want to do. So well, let's go for it. Yes. And that is it. On the Rev01 motherboards, you can also use a command CPU downgrade, which will bring it from the 5 series processors back to the 4. You can't do that on the, on the O2 motherboard. Anyway, what you need to do now is power it off and swap the card over. So this is the old CPU board. You need to remove this to get the 
this bar off. And And here's the new one. Okay, the CPU's in. Now we'll just replace the cover plate and then we can turn it on and see what happens. Okay, we've powered it up. The ESA settings need to be fixed. It says here it's corrupt and it's going through some system test at the moment. And we'll just stop that. So I'll do show config now. Now we've got an alpha server 1005 slash 400 21164A which is the V56. 400 megahertz. So we've now got we've now doubled the speed of our alpha server. Now we'll just go through and update the ESA configuration. So we don't really have to do anything here, it's already showing what we've got and the SCSI controller here is the only thing that's of use and that's auto added. Save and exit. still in the art console so we have to get back to SRM. I had a bit of trouble getting out of art console but I reset the system and it came back into SRM which is what I wanted. The main problem was I was on the serial console and all the keys don't map through to the um, PC keyboard so I was having a bit of trouble working out how to drive it. Anyway it's back in SRM mode now. VMS. And we're back to there. The firmware is a bit different on the um, on the Arc and SRM with the version 5 CPUs. And we'll start up the OS. So 
like this the minimum mode, but that's all right. If we look at the CPU there, it says we've got an Alpha Server 1005 slash 400. So we've had a successful upgrade. And of course the all important thing is that the display on the front's correct, which it is. Telling me I'm now running a 5 slash 400. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and we shall catch up with you next time.